Hi there. Just adjusting. Making sure you can see me. I'm just checking my screen. Bear with me because I appear to be frozen on my end. All right. Just bear with me. Just trying to make sure that I can see you all. Ah, that's better. All right, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Hi, Geraldine. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Denise. Excellent. Thanks, Leslie. Great. You can hear me. That is excellent. All righty. Now, I think I'm a little bit early, but that's okay. We are live and people can go and watch back. So, welcome. I'm Naomi. Um, I'm one of Natalie's brand ambassadors. If you haven't heard of me before, um, you can... Hi, Carleen. It's actually Naomi, um, not Natalie. I do the night, well, the brand ambassadors do the night ones, so to give Nat a break. Um, so, yeah, I'm Naomi and I am Natalie's, one of Natalie's brand ambassadors. Um, and you can follow me at Tokyo Creations on Instagram, also on Facebook. Um, and also, if you haven't joined the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community, um then please do so hi geraldine that's totally fine it's a bit hard when we both come up as Nat as natalie may um scrapbooking and of course um the website is www.nataliemay.com.au so let's crack into it so tonight i thought we would do some junk cards um and i wanted to give you the opportunity to play along um and I'm just pulling out a, a puppy training pad here because I'm going to get messy first up with my magicals. Um, so before I, I crack into it, and excuse my mat, I'm on my last puppy training pad and it's already a bit dirty. Hi, Susie, Susan. Um, so I will just show you what I've pulled out to play with. I don't know that I'm going to use it all tonight, but um, the idea about doing junk cards... Um, and I do have a few samples, but I don't have samples of all the types that I wanted to do. Um, I've used them all. Um, is to bring some of your new stock that you see coming out, like your magicals um, and some of the stamps and stuff, and combine it with some of the old stuff that you've had lying around um, that, you, that you don't use. So um, that's what the junk cards idea was about and I'm hoping to create a good number of them tonight. I have already pre-done some backgrounds so that we don't have to wait for paint to dry. Um, so I'll just show you what I pulled out to have a have a play with. So I've got some stamps. Um, I've got some mark making stamps or backgroundy stamps. So I've got just a Paper Artsy ESA01. I know that one's still available. This is my new favourite stamp at the moment for mark making the grunge tones um, from image, uh, Visible Image. I have my packet of um, Scrap Effects stamps, but particularly I have pulled out the bricks um, and I have pulled out, I can't remember what these are called, but they're the, the circles with the numbers and the letters on them. These are really good um, price points on the website. They're like $6 or something like that. And I've had mine for a while now. And I think this one's quite popular and I use mine all the time. Um, I've also pulled out one of my new ones, which is the Chain Reaction Stamp from Visible Image. 
Uh, I've pulled out Vicky Booten's print shop for these circles. And I've pulled out Funky Fossil, um, the heartfelt stamp, which I only just got the other day. So that's the stamps I pulled out. Again, I don't know what I'll use until I, I get there, but that's just what I've pulled out. Um, I've only grabbed out three stencils. Um, I'm not going to do a lot with stencils tonight, but we'll see. So I've got Natalie Mays Hexed. Um, I've got a Vicky Booten. Not sure. I think that might be a Sweet Rush run. I could be wrong, but it's the Love Hearts. It's a bit hard to see on the background. And a this is a bigger one, uh, a Plussy, and it's an All and Creates um, stencil. So I've got that. Um, collage papers. I've got a little pile, which is underneath a whole thing here but so i won't show you that i've got my little stash of off um bits of um you know the leftovers of collage paper i don't throw them away um i have so these little books here so we've got this one and this one and these are collage sets they're $9.95 on the website. I don't know what they're called, um, but you get four of each pa each in these. So this one's got some nice little elements to play with, um, things to cut out. And I have already pre-cut some of these out um, as a um, focal point. And I believe I've cut some, butterf some of these butterflies. So these are great. They've got a bit of everything in there um, and then there's this one which is a bit unique but um, I think I can do stuff with that so it's got black and white page they've all got black and white pages um, some they've all got words so they are great little booklets to use for collage paper or um, just little good little things to have you can punch them out you can die cut them um, yeah so and I've also grabbed out my Heartfelt um, from Claire Steed, Art Journal Love. Um, and I just love this paper, so I'm going to have a play with that as well. Um, and I think other than my scrap little container I have, um, I've also pulled out... Now, these exact ones aren't available anymore, but I know Paper Artsy have, not Paper Artsy, Paper Rose have a new stash. So this is my old stash. I'm not a card maker. Um, I don't claim to be a fancy card maker. Um, they're too fancy card makers. I love them and I love getting them, but I, they're too fancy for me to do. But I do love having a stash of these birthday sentiments um, in my stash just for, because uh, I like to make messy cards and these junk, these are perfect for these junk cards. And because I use a lot of bright colours, these were perfect. I would, I would like to have a black and white set. So there is a new set of these um, from Paper Rose as well. I've also pulled out a bit of um, old rub-ons that I didn't use all of. I've got some chipboard. Um, I've pre gessoed a bit of Nelly May chipboard. Another off cart. I've got some Tim, some ticket books here. Tim Holtz ticket books. I've got some dead people. So I've just really grabbed some things that I've opened, used one of, and I want to um, some scrap effects birds. They're great. And then I've just got a stash of. Whenever I stamp something, I always stamp a few and then I put a stash of stamped or die cuts. Um, here's some visible image cards that I uh, stamped out for boys' cards and never put them on the cards. Just some old things, All and Create, Art by Marlene. Just a little stash of little images that can just enhance a card. Um, and I do have some... Uh, cheesecloth which I love to use so let's get cracking so that's what I've got put aside and I have a great big mess over here so I'm just going to start with playing with some magicals 
Oh, yes, Chrissy. I always do it, mainly because I normally stuff up. Now, if I've missed any comments, just say it again because I do get carried away. So I've, I'm going to just play with some magicals to start with. Um, and then I'll put them aside to dry and I've already got some that I have dried. So I do have a big stash of bright colours. So I was going to go with some of the, the grungier look to go with the dead people. So I'm going to pull out um, some of the new ones. The Hockey Puck Black. I have to say that one slowly. Um, I thought... I would go with, what else have I got here? I've got a good stash of magicals and I keep buying more. Uh, the Maple Syrup Bronze. Now, these are from the two new sets that they bought out. Thank you for the person laughing along with me at my pronunciation of Hockey Puck Black. <laughs> um, what else have I got? I'm looking for a brownie colour. I don't use a lot of brown, but... Um, I'm, I'm going to have a crack at it. Um, here we go, Cattail Copper Brown. I just love the names of them, and I have no idea how they would ever come up with, with these. So um, if you're playing along at home, feel free to make some messy uh, messy card backgrounds. Um, I'm, going to, I'm not just going to sprinkle on the page because I've done that on a few others. So I'm actually going to use a stencil here, um, and I'm just going to grab my my hex stencil and I'm just going to pop it over there now I don't I mostly have magicals so um that's what I like to use um so that's what I go with so I'm using this is a sprinkle and spritz technique if you haven't seen it before so you just get a dry brush and I'll just bring that down a little bit because I realize I'm a little bit and I'm sorry about the glare that is the one downside of um crafting at night when toddler is asleep um, and I'm just going to make sure it's nice and flat I'm just going to sprinkle over the top of my stencil and I'm just giving it a little tap and I just wipe it off wipe it off on my puppy training and I keep this brush dry so I'm gonna add the the back <laughs> yep I do have to um you don't want to craft when they're awake do you Chrissy because then they want to touch all the things and as much as you buy them the cheap stuff so that they don't touch your good stuff they always want yours all right so I'm just gonna go with two colors and I have swatched all the all my colours. I'll show you how I've swatched my colours. I just keep them right next to me. But it, so here's my swatch colours. So we're using Hockey Puck Black there and the Beaver Tail Brown there. But it doesn't matter how they're swatched here because they definitely come up different when you do the sprinkle and spritz technique. Yeah, I want what you have exactly. Um... It's exactly what they say. Have kids, they said. It'll be fun. All right, so I'm ju I've just got a, a spray bottle, just a random, I think it's actually a Ranger one, but the it's old. Um, just a spray bottle, and I'm just going to hold um, my fingers over here just to hold my um, stencil down, and I'm just going to spray. <laughs> I bet she did, Chrissy. They love it. And I look, I just can't get enough of magicals and this technique. Um, I just love how they react. Um, I, I reckon if my kids got to them, my, my elder boy loves them. I'm going to add a bit more colour. My elder boy loves them. Um, he's 12, but he's not really a crafty kid. My three-year-old, on the other hand, he um, he's definitely the crafty one of my two boys. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't want to show the toddler the magicals because he'll, he'll be like, yep, give him, give him to me. Yes, 
Chrissy. Have a go. It's so easy. Now, one of the tricks here. Now, it doesn't. I don't. I don't care if it goes underneath. Um, and I'm going. I do have a wet paintbrush, so I just have a wet one so that I can. So if they don't, if you don't put enough water on them, and you've still got the, the bits of powder there, when it dries, you'll get it all over your hands. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another, I don't want to waste all these magicals on top. So I'm just going to put another piece of cut up cardstock over the top. Um, and I actually think, and I will show you some others I've done later, that the top one is actually my favorite. The bottom one gets a bit more of the liquid. So it goes underneath, but the top one is my favorite. So this is two card backgrounds in one go. Okay, so that one, there was a lot of water on that one, but look at that. Gorgeous. Now, I have put a spot over here to, I've set up a spare table to put my spares. And then I'm going to pop this off. And that one, I gave that a lot, but it's still got the the stencils there. And that is a gorgeous background. Um, depending on how, how, much, how much movement you want in it, depends on how much water you add. So if you don't want to add, uh, I'll do another one where I don't add as much water um, on, a, on a finer stencil and we'll see what that gives us. And I'm just wiping um, my stencil clean over to the side here because I don't want it to stain. So I'll just move this one off onto my side table. Now I can, if I wanted to move that, I can just tilt it up. Yeah, look, it's like a jackpot, Christy. You just don't know what you will get with um, magicals when you add them this way. So it is definitely what I love. And the pink came out actually in that from the black. So this time I'm going to go with, now, I don't remember which one I used. Okay, I used copper tail brown. All right, so I'm going to pop that back. I will do a bright one as well. Um, so this one I'm going to use this guy here. And with the big stencils, you can kind of pick. Oh, there's a dog hair in there. I don't want that in there. Sorry. All right. So I'm going to line that up there. Now, the thing with using stencils this way, you need to make sure, I have a beautiful numbers one that would have been great for this, but you don't want anything with numbers or letters on them because they'll cut, the top layer will come out backwards. So, yeah, you can, you can definitely do it if you've got a, um, a good one. Just don't do the top layer unless you don't care that your numbers are backwards. All right, so I've put a good, generous amount there of the black, I think. No, let's add some more. All right, and then I'm using the maple syrup bronze. And then I'll do one with the Banff blue and the emerald air, I think it is. Air? E-H, is that how you... <laughs> It's a bit it's a bit of a weird one, but um yeah. Sometimes when I've lost my mojo, I just come in here and get my magicals out and have a play. Um because there's nothing better than going, crap, I've got a birthday party, I haven't got a birthday card, and you can quickly come in here, grab a background that you've already done, and whip something up. And I do that all the time. All right, so we're just going in here. I'm not going to put as much water on, and we'll see how we go. That black has so many different colours in it. I've seen purples, 
blue. I don't know if I've got that down far enough for you to see, but I can't really bring it up. All right. So, and the less water you add, you get this really beautiful, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll show you on some dry cards that I've got. Over here, you get this really beautiful speckled edge. Um, and it's gorgeous. I am just going to go in here with my paintbrush just so that we get move some of that powder along and I'm at, just adding it to the top of the stencil. Just so that we move it onto the top layer that I'm about to do. I'm just trying to steer clear of those edge pieces. Gorgeous. Okay, now we'll pop one over the top. I'm not going to play with magicals all night, although I certainly could. Um, but I just thought I'd show you a different way, and it's it's no no new thing, but um, it's just a different way to try your magicals. Um, and of course, there's nothing wrong with just spritzing some straight onto a, a page. The other thing, um, if you don't have magicals, well, you need some in your life, but if you don't have magicals, oh yeah, look at that. That's gorgeous. Just see that, you can see that. That really turned out really well. Um, I think when you do this, this technique, it's really good to have a, um, oh yeah, the bottom layer is just great. So obviously, so so that's just the difference between um, the the levels of water that you add to it. And I'm not using any any fancy cardstock here. This is just Natalie's um, plain old card white Casey Craft cardstock and I've just cut it into six by fours and then I normally just trim it down. All right. So, so that is that one. And then the last one I'll do with the Magicals. Oops, sorry, better move this one. That one has, to, let me just bring this one up. It doesn't have a lot of liquid on it. So I'll see if I can get it. It's hard to tell where, where the camera's going to go. Can you see that at the edge there? The speckles. It's it's pretty cool. All right. And here we go. Last one with the magicals. And actually, I'm not going to go with the boys' colours. Well, I, I say they're boys' colours, but we don't have boys' colours, I tell my kids. Um... But I use blue and green a lot for my kids. I'm going to go with, and these ones are out of stock, so please don't, you can't get the sifters anymore, um, the magical sifters, but I'm sure everyone who's got them, yeah, Rachel, it, the grunge look is good. I'm not not very good at using the grunge. I'm, I'm normally a brights person, so... I will, but I will do this one with the brights. Um, so these were those limited edition edition um, magical sifters, but you can do this with exactly what I just did as there. It's just that I wanted to use these. So I'm going to. This one's a bit of a a tap. If you've got the magic, the older magical sifters as well. So I'm going to do the lighter color at the bottom. And pop that one away. And then this one, oh, I didn't see what colour that was, sorry. It was Jellyfish Sting Pink. Oh, thank you, Tegan. Welcome. Parrotfish Purple. Now, this one's got a bit of um, sitting on, on top there. Obviously, it's been knocked. I have my magical sitting on one of those trays that, um, Nat showed us one time she has her inks sitting on this tray and I got them, got the tray from Ikea and I sit my magicals on there so they're nice and close to me and I came in one day and 
Here's three-year-old sitting here lining them all up. Thank God he didn't open any of them, but God help me. All right, so again, same technique. I'm just going to give them a light. A light spritz. And when you do this, you can see, you can see where, when they haven't react or when they haven't, they've still got the, the pigment there or the powder, it hasn't been fully reacted, but it's a bit of a, like it, when it's not fully reacted, yes, it does come off when it's dry, you will get it all over your hands, but you get this beautiful, this is actually really pretty. So I'm so mesmerized by magicals, like every time you get a different um, effect. All right, so just going to pop this over the top again. And I haven't got a lot of water this time either. I actually, yeah, no, just go with it. All right. That would have been a good stencil one to use for Valentine's Day. But you can do these as well for scrapbooking. Um, oh, look at that. So pretty. So pretty. Yeah, do these for scrapbooking and put them behind your your cards, uh, your photos, um, or as elements on your page. All right, now we'll lift this one up. It's definitely got a bit more. Yeah, a bit more purple in it, but that's that's just as gorgeous. And that light pink down the bottom, I'm just cleaning off this while I go. Yeah, Chrissy, do it. I've done a few, I can't even recall, but I have done, actually, no, I will show you a few magical backgrounds I've done before um, as I move this over. All right. So that is the end of the magicals for tonight. Um, I'll put, pop those away and I'll show you some that I've already done. Now, um, I have a big stash of these because, as I said, I just like to to play. That wasn't actually a magical. That was some, um, some of the Tim Holtz sprays. So it's in here. That one's, um, nope, that's not magical either. So this is the new... I'm not even going to try and remember the colours, but these are just sprinkle and spritzed with water onto the cardstock. So um, there's that black. Look at that. It, it's not even black because of the way it is, but it's got a beautiful gold shine. Um, I've got a couple of... This is These are not magicals. This is shimmer paint on craft, and I do have a couple of craft there. This is... This one here, this is... Um, the same thing we just did that's the top layer uh, that's the bottom layer and I actually did the top layer over two cards before I realized that I'm gonna have to cut them right down and the, again that's the bottom layer of one and the top layer and I even went for a third go on that same one uh, this was a mask, a new mask stencil. So there's, I love this one. Um, I now did all the colours and they blended beautifully. Um, so that was the mask and that was the, the stencil. Um, again, just playing with colours. There's another. So this one I didn't do over the top. This is an older one. And these are the sifters. When they first came out, I did a little bit of a play. But, you know, I always always I just have a range of colors just sitting here that I can just grab out um, and and make a card and this was a magical one that had a lot of water on it and I switched it around so um, I think I did something on the back I didn't like so I made it into a magicals card so there's the magicals um, I did want to do a few other things for some backgrounds before we get into layering them. So I'm just going to clear up this puppy training pad, pop that away. And I have to keep it because it'll probably be 
six months before I go and get more tr puppy training pads or until it really dies. All right. So, oh, darn it. No, hang on. I'm just going to pull. Okay, one more thing. One more thing. I'm just going to pull out. <laughs> Bear with me. So I just wanted to um, put some magicals quickly onto some cogs um, and onto this frame. So I am going to grab another. I have my Tim Holtz mat there, so I'll just wipe it up. And my iPad's already permanently magical, so it's fine. All right, so I have done a bit of gesso on this, and these are the Natalie May Cogs on the website. Um, this was just a random, um, I don't even know where that came from, just a random bit of chipboard, but we've all got chipboard lying around, um, and it's so easy to add magicals to them. So let me, and I want to go with um, my grunge look again. So I'm going to have a go. I know I have a Christmas set somewhere and it's got a really deep green a forest green yes here we go so this is frolic in the forest green i reckon that one's going to be darker than the black um i'm gonna add some i don't want to go dark we'll go a dark galactic teal actually no i'll do that ho hockey puck again and then I might put this green in it so this is um pondus ponderosa pines olive frolic in the forest green and hockey park black so I'm just going to do exactly the same thing that I did onto the chipboard um I'm just going to sprinkle onto here now, the reason I put gesso over the top is because it, well, it gives it a bit of a waterproof, but it does react differently, magicals react differently to chipboard um, than they do other things. It's quite porous, so it sucks up the water quickly, but I don't want it to suck up all the colour. So I've done the frame I haven't done anything to, and as a matter of fact, I'm not going to sprinkle onto the Frame. I'll just paint onto it with my wet brush um, and I think the cogs will go nicely with the dead people and the black now I don't mind if, if some of this is it, it like doesn't take the color that's why I didn't fully gesso it um, and it will be a different color where it's gessoed and where it's not gessoed so and a bit of oh that looks a bit bright but anyway we'll see what it does the the powder color is so um, it's so uh, deceiving like it can be this bright orange color and turn out to be this dark, yeah, sorry, bright green color and turn out to be this dark black color when it's when it's activated. So let's have a go here. Yep, see, that's activated a darker green. So because I have gessoed that, it is sitting on top. Some of it's sinking in. But I'm going to get my brush, my wet brush, and I'm just going to help it move around. And it's like the water has literally dried up on here. So I often find that uh, with chipboard, you may have to do it a couple of times um, because it's, it's, I mean... It reactivates every time you touch it, but it's just so porous. It just sucks up the liquid quickly. And, I mean, you can just keep reactivating it. But that gives a good, 
good grunge. Now, if I go over here with my brush, without, sorry, I just realized I haven't looked up at the, any comments if I've missed any. Um, please say it again. Oh, hi, Linda. All right, I've run out of magicals, so I'm going to grab those back out again. And I'm going to hit them again. And, I mean, I haven't even used blue, and there's, all you can see is blue there. That's just, that's why they're called magicals. I might just start at the top because it's soaking up so quickly. And move that around with, God. So you could do this with watercolors, you could do it with acrylic paint pens, you could do it with acrylic paint. Um, you know, just to add to a junk card, use up those. I've got a stash of chipboard that I've had for donkeys that I'm happy for my toddler to play with and he won't. Um, it, that, you know, it's good to use them up sometimes. Find a, find a project that you can get rid of things. So add the old with the new. And as you've seen with, um, you may have seen with the rub-ons, you know, rub-ons are around so long ago and, you know, then they went out of fashion and now they're back again. So if you keep things long enough, they'll come back in, in fashion. All right, let's have another crack at that. I'm not going to do any more after this. I'm just going to let it go because I do have a couple that I, I did before. Just get it around there. I don't want it even. I just want a bit of colour. You could you could sit here all night painting these. I'll just add that onto. I haven't used a lot of water over on this one, and I'm not looking for anything. Oh, thanks, Linda. Adding the links. You're a gem. There's a big range of magicals on that website. So if you missed it at the beginning, Linda has kindly put the links in, but www.nataliemay.com.au. All right, I'm going to pop this aside to dry. And I'll use that another night. Um, but I will show you some. I've got them here on my little stash somewhere. Here they are. So, yeah. I do apologise for the light, but I'll pop this here. So here's some of the ones I've done previously with exactly the same uh, technique. So kind of, it's a bit of a rustic look. So it sits in with some of the gesso, melts in with, I think that's a double... Um, so yeah, good little, good little thing to use your magicals on and use them on your cards. All right. Now I did want to quickly add some color to, uh, no, I won't even do that. I've already got those. All right. That's, that's enough of the backgrounds. So I do have a couple of cards that I have done previously. Um, and this isn't, all the techniques that I'm going to use tonight, but this is just one of them. So this one is using that um, collage paper that that I showed you before. I think it's wings or something. Um, a bit of gold paint, gold paint pen on some chipboard. Uh, uh, I don't even know where that's from. Somewhere in the stash, and so that background with some stamping in the background, um, and using those for all of these. There's those tickets and they're just nice little old Eiffel Tower stickers I had once upon a time when I went to 
Perth, a bit of washi tape down there. Sorry, not Perth, Paris. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and recreate with the magical backgrounds. So let's have a little look at, sorry, I did say I was going to do some that weren't magical backgrounds. So let's, um, let's do a craft one and I'm going to get the gel medium out. All right, so I'm going to use um, my collage paper and I will use this this pad here so um, I'm actually I think I will use this fairy whispers pad on the top yeah Perth might be a little bit different to Paris <laughs> Linda just a little bit um, and this has some really good um, grungy uh, things to cut out which I did earlier and I've put them in a very safe spot and they're so safe that I can't find where I put them. Oh, no, they're here. All right, so what I'm going to do, so this this paper, these pads are $9.95 on the website. Um, you get four of each, um, different style, and they're just great for, they're, they're a thickish paper, not as thick as, um, yeah, steampunk feel, not as thick as a... Um, cardstock but um, yeah so I'm just going to rip down here and I'm going to rip off there all right so you can use actually I might use a glue stick you don't need to use gel medium so you can use a glue stick, make these junky cards. All right, so it's just about layering. So just layering on there to get your... Now you can go over the top with some gel medium to make it all one, one layer. Um, but yeah, I like to to mix it up. A bit of book paper in there will go go well as well. Washi tape. We've all got stacks of washi tape. Um, I generally only like to put a straight edge on an edge. So we'll stick that down there. Now that, um, this glue stick will dry um, clear, I hope. It's only new, so <laughs> pretty sure it does. So it's all just about the layering. And keeping uh, keeping these to the, to the same tones. So by buying these pads, you've got the different tones in there, but they're all in the same... Uh, color range kind of thing uh, we've, and they've got some I know they've got some little ones in here that I wanted to use so these ones I think they're really cute um, and I I mean I don't really cut them much but I'm just gonna because I will whip them And you can do this with your old scrapbooking paper. We've all got old scrapbooking paper that we'll keep for a rainy day. If you haven't made a junk journal with them, you can make junk cards. I'll just rip the bottom off. The ripped, um, ripping it. <laughs> oh, sorry, what was that? Um, the paper pad. Um, <laughs> who are you kissing, Michelle? <laughs> um, it, I'm not sure what brand it is. Linda might be able to do the link, but if you look up collage paper on the website, 
it's on um, it's on the website, and there's like four different types of them. One of um, my my new scrapbooking kit that I did is using one of them, um, plus a few other things. But it's yeah, they're 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 great. They're nine ninety five, and they're just there's so much you can do with them. So I'm just gonna shove that down there. All right, and I've got a bit of cheesecloth. Or I might add a bit of. Yeah, this is a this is a bit of um, one of Natalie's girls that I've just kept um, off the edge. One of the collage papers. So I can stick that down there. If you want a really even look, you can use gel medium. Um, over the over the top of it all I'm just not going to I normally do I'm just not going to tonight because I want it to dry god that purple's really um daunting when you, you put it on there um Linda I looked up collage papers and it's um it was I think it was on the first or second page they're $9.95 the pads And it's got uh, it's got I think it's wings because it's got lots of flying things. It's got little planners in there as well, so they're they're cute too. I have used this one a bit. All right, so now what am I, what else am I going to add on here? Um, uh, no, not that paper. There's some die cuts I've done. Um, you can could add the side of a. A butterfly I might use that butterfly later uh, like it's just layering on all your different bits here's a piece of oh, I might add some green to that there's a piece of Vicky Booten paper that I've had sitting somewhere get that into the middle there oh hang on do I like that side better I think I like that side better. All right. So there's really no rhyme or reason to junk cards. Um, layering it on. Once it's dry adding a bit of mark making with your paint pens or some stamping and I'm just going to do some gluing first before I do some stamping so I'm pretty happy with that uh, I'm just will I add some chipboard no I'm not going to add some chipboard all right So this is just another another way to um, to do a background. Yep, that's that's the one. You should see my desk. I have a big pig style mess here. So these are from that that I've already fussy cut. You'd be proud of me, Carrie Ann. I've been fussy cutting. Um, so they can be laid up as well. So I think. They're going to be for a different magicals background. Um, I think I want to add a bit more book paper because I kind of covered my book paper up. Book paper is a great little additive to your collection. I often, if I run, get close to running out, I go down when there's a sale and buy a one dollar book and just add it in, and then I can rip it up without feeling guilty. I'm pretty sure that this one might be a Greek, something Greek. Yeah, just, yeah, it'll be in there. There's all different ones in there. Thank you, Linda. That's great. So there's, you know, enough of a bit of a layering with no effort. It's just, um, 
<laughs> You're on your, I definitely will take you up on that, Kerry Ann. <laughs> Um, so there's a background as well. We'll come back to this one. I'm not going to sit here and stick down things all night, but that's just one type of background. All right. Um, so, yes, I'll pop those away. Now, that's not to say I'm done with that notepad yet, uh, that pad yet. Um, so let's bring out some of the magical backgrounds, and I'm going to start with, one of the grungier ones. Let's have a look here. All right. Now, these aren't as dark as, as I thought they were going to be. Um, so when I work on magical backgrounds, I want to... Is that glare? Is that light really annoying? Do you want me to put my messy mat down? I might pop my messy mat down because it's... All I can see is that light when I've only got one little thing there. So... Just bear with me. I've only got five lights around me. <laughs> All right, I'll just pop this out so it's a bit easier. There we go. A bit, a bit less of a glare. All right, so when I use um, magical backgrounds, um, obviously we don't want to put any more liquid onto them. Um, so if I'm using glue or anything, I normally try and use like an Art by Marlene glue or a glue stick, not my gel medium. Uh, so I want to add, before I do anything here, I want to add some stamping in the background. So this is where the stamps come in. So I'm going to use my Scrap Effects Bricks stamp. If you haven't got Scrap Effects stamps, um, they are a great one to invest in. Um, and I'm I'm just going to use black tonight because um, I'm going with the grunge. So I've put a bit of washi tape on the back here for those who haven't used Scrap Effects stamps before. And I'm not really going for a perfect imprint. So I'm not even going to double ink. And that's perfect. So... And I've run out of baby wipes, so grab another one. Yes, Tegan, great idea. They're a really good starting off point for stamps and you don't need acrylic blocks or anything. So they are, scrap effects are great. Alrighty, so there's um, our stamping. I could add a bit more. Um... The thing I also do when I do these, no, I'll do that later. All right. So next on, I still want to add some uh, collage paper over the top. So I'm just going to have a play around and see what I think. This is a bit of a graffiti. I kind of like that. A bit of a graffiti look. So I'm not. I'm just going to rip in a random spot. And again, I'm still layering with my junk bits. My junk bits, that sounds great, doesn't it? <laughs> Hopefully the kids aren't watching. Um, and I'm just popping on some of that glue now. Probably would have been a better idea for me to put the glue onto my collage paper. But it's not a big issue. It's a bit harder to do on your collage paper. All right, so now we've got a bit of graffiti on our wall. And I think I'm going to add some of my little cogs that I have lying around to this one. So you could do this in a few stages if you wanted to. Do your magicals one night, another night sit here and just do your stamping on your backgrounds. Um, the next night you could come in and do... Um, you know, a bit more mark making and then, a, or a construction night. Um, yeah, it's, it's so easy to play with these because there's, you don't have to put a lot of thought into it. It's um, just kind of shove them together. And 
everyone has something at home that they can use to do these. You, can, you don't need to have magicals. You don't need to have, you know, the right collage paper. You could have tissue paper, um, you know, that sort of thing. All right. And I'm going to add a little bit more stamping over the top, but I'm going to use some paint. Um, and I'm going to use this, I don't know, keep forgetting what they're called but the circles it's a bit too organized Linda <laughs> um, now with this I'm going to use some black gesso um, I love using paint with these um, with these stamps because uh, it cleans off really easy but um, a bit of gesso or a bit of black paint gives um, a really nice effect so I just need to find something to. So when you're using paint on these stamps, you kind of got to flatten it out. Now, normally I just stick my finger in there, but then I'm going to have a black hand pretty much all night. All right, so you just stick it in there and kind of off stamp. And I'm going to just add... A bit of stamping off half of the page I should have done this when I'd prepared two of them so that I didn't waste my my ink but that's okay now keeping in mind that we'd still need to trim these these fronts back when they go onto um, onto your card front because they're probably a bit big so what I generally do is I buy the pack the card packs that Natalie has um, I'm just and you just need to wipe these off with a baby wipe you can stamp off as well onto some paper towel but I've suddenly run out um, I have to get that with my baby with my uh, puppy pay, puppy training pads um, so, yeah, you do still have to trim it down. So I buy the card packs from Natalie and then fold those in half and then just trim it down, which I'll do in a minute. But while I've got this black here, I'm going to create some splatters because, you know, a good grunge needs a good splatter. All right, and just do a smoker's tap. Oh, I might need a bit more water. So yeah, if you were not doing a live like me and you were doing them at home, you could um, just do like have a few of them ready to go, ready to do your, your stamping, ready to do your splatters so you don't waste your paint and inks. And to grunge that up a bit more, I will also... Uh, go around the edge once I've trimmed it. All right, and now my hand is covered in black dots. All righty, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, for someone who doesn't really use grunge, I'm I'm, pre I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to pop that one aside for a minute and work on another one because I do still want to do a little bit more stamping on that one. But let's move on um, and we'll keep going with, the grunge look actually let's go back to this one it's dry now so that's dry I will add some oh what stamp will I use on this one all right I have to pull out my my grungy tones stamp um, and I'm gonna go with this circly one because I'm using gesso not ink um, it's going to give me nice circles on there and I don't need a crisp look so I'm just going to use my hand and I'm going to add oh, it's good it does have a bit of water in it so I'm just adding some interest and some marks 
You want it to go off the page. There we go. Now I'm not going to add splatters to this one because um, it's on craft paper and craft paper seems to be quite porous. I could probably do a little bit over. Oh, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? We all love good splatter. Let's just add some splatters in the middle. I just don't want to get it on the craft because it um, it's quite porous and it sucks it up. Um, although I love using craft. It's a great thing to have in your stash. I don't want it to be too wet in the splatters. So that will do me for that one. So there we go. I didn't waste that after all. So happy with that. Is anyone playing along? Is anyone getting messy or ripping, ripping collage paper apart? Playing with the magicals. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, there's a massive range of um, scrap effects stamps. Um, I've gone to use this. I've, I've gone to use this brick one a few times, and it's sold out. It sells out pretty often, I think, and it's just come back in. So if you love that brick stamp, get on it because it doesn't seem to stick around very long. All right. You're cleaning your desk. Oh, I did that earlier. All right, I'm going to go um, with this one here now. And I'm going to add some collage paper from uh, this one, the Heartfelt Journal. This one has some really good sayings in it too. Um, I'm not going to use that tonight, but um, what am I going for? Some really good I'll come back to the beginning. I re this one I use a lot this this page. I've already used a full page of it. Um, I think I might go those dots. Uh, where are they? Yeah, I like these dots. These dots you could cut out. I'm not going to uh, for the sake of time, but they're great. You could cut these out to use on here. Uh, the other thing I've got as well to use, which I'll, I'll, I'll do that in a second, actually. All right, so I'm going to just rip down here. Now, I, I keep my already opened. You're not even fussy cutting, Kerry, Anne. Are you, uh, is, your leg, is your leg better, your knee better? What's the pad called like it? Hang on a minute. I, mi I missed your question, Tegan. Sorry. What have we got? The pad? What is the pad called? I'm not sure. Oh, the the collage paper pad. You have to tell me what you mean. Oh no, it's not going well. Oh, the pad of paper. Um, this was the Heartfelt Journal collage papers by Art Journal Love. It's under Funky Fossil on the website. Thank you. See, a lovely little community knows. All right. So now I'm concerned that that's going to cover up a lot of my magical, but you know what? I think I'm going to go with it. Yep. I'm going to commit to it. Oh, thank you, Linda. All right. So let's get this, this purple glue down.
I mean, the magicals are a beautiful background in themselves, so you could literally just add a sentiment to the middle of it and you'd be done. But, you know, where's the fun in that besides playing with the magicals? All right. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to use my stencil again. And... I'm going to get a makeup sponge, which are in very special places. Here they are. My makeup sponge. Just a good old cheapo came up makeup sponge. Now I just want to put a really, really small bit of black. We're going with black again. Use gesso because it's in front of me. All right, so I'm just using gesso on a sponge, a makeup sponge, and I'm just gonna see how I go swiping this on. Sometimes these finer ones don't like that particularly. So let's just see how we go. Oh no, I'm getting enough of a mark. Let's see. Ah, like that. All right, we might add that down the bottom here. And I might go with more of the the smaller the smaller bits. All right, yeah, some of these um, small bits really have to get, get your makeup sponge in there. Look at me getting out of my comfort zone of my bright colours. All right. Yeah, that's good. I like that. And I might just, um, might just pop a little bit over here in this white space. Noting that we do have to cut that off. Beautiful. All right. And again, I've got a little puddle of black here, so you know what I'm going to do with it, don't you? Yep. I'm going to make a wash. I'm going to have to start moving things over. I've got a bit of a pole up here. All right. And... Let's give that a bit of a, nothing grunges up a page like black splatters. And I often have to remember when I'm making a stash of cards to make some masculine cards because my kids, the majority of parties that my kids go to are boys parties. Um, and most half of them are football players, or well, the bigger ones are. So having a, um, I think it was, I can't remember which brand it was, Minte bought out this little pad and it had um, like guitars and uh, like all these Nintendos and an old Game Boy that you could just cut out and stick on the front. They were great. Great. All right, so popping that one aside. All right, let's come back to this. No, that one's not quite dry. It's okay. We'll, we'll work with it. All right. Yeah, it's pretty. it was pretty old, Christy. I think it was Minte. It was a, um, yeah, it had drums, old cars, things like that. All right. So now I'm going to, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the last piece of paper towel off my roll and I'm just going to pop that over there and take up that little bit of wet. All right. So before we move on, I'm just going to get a card from one of the packs and 
and just show you how I measure it. I'm not a measurer by any means. I I wing it. So I'm just gonna have a quick drink. Um, so when I do a kit, which I've just done and I'm doing another one for, for Nat at the moment, uh, I have to go back and measure everything that I've cut because I normally just wing it. <laughs> um, but when you're writing the instructions, so I'm just, fold, I just fold, so these come, these A5 pieces, I think they are, I just fold them in half and then I just grab my piece of paper and go right. That is pretty, I want a little bit of a border. You don't have to, you could stick it straight on there. It's actually got a bit of a border, but it's a bit long. So because I've got the white bit down the end, I'm just gonna use my um, Crafters Companion guillotine, my mini guillot, the, the mini one. I love this mini one. And I'm just going to nick off a small, although it's got that beautiful fray there. And that should be enough. Yep, beautiful. So that's the size I want. Now, I did cut my white cardstock from a 12 by 12. So so they're not probably all the same because, as I said, I wing it. Um, so let's add a bit of um, boarding, borders to this before I add my... No, let's not. Let's, let's layer it up and finish this one off and then we can move on to the next one. So let's see if the dead people will work here. So sometimes it's about playing around with what you've got. That's why I've just literally put all this, this stuff on my table because you just don't know with magical what the background's going to look like. So this is the paper dolls. I've actually not really used these before because I work in colour. Black. This really didn't appeal to me, but I, I, I thought I'd get myself out of my comfort zone. So, but I might, I, I've decided that I might use one of the bright ones and put one of the ladies on there. So we'll see how that goes. I know lots of people do um, art journaling with these. So I think I like him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit him off to the side a bit. I'm going to sit him there. But I want to I wanna lift him up. So I want to put something underneath. So I'm going to layer. And I'll see if these, I've got these cogs here. Um, so we'll see if these work. I think they really work with this background. Um, you don't have to color your chipboard either. You could definitely leave that, um, plain. Oh, I've been going for over an hour. This is the problem with doing these things. You get started and you don't want to stop. Anyway, Nat will forgive me. We're having fun, aren't we? Oh, excellent, Linda. All right, so I might grab out one of these tickets. So that's a nice little layer. Actually, I might grab two. And what else am I going to layer him up with? Um... Uh, another bit of, I might just phone tape him up, hey. Yep, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to leave him, phone tape him up and chuck a couple of cogs in there. All right, let's do that. So I'm going to use foam tape. And I have realised that I need to get what Linda has got and get that big gigantic roll because I go through way too much foam tape now that I've started 
got my scrapbooking mojo back. All right. So I'm just, just lining him up here to see where I want to put a bit more on this side. All right, so I'm going to stick him on. All right, now we can stick some things underneath if they work. No. I want it to make it look like he's got a ticket coming out of his head. Um, let's see. Here we go. No, I think I'll just go with the one. And then we might. I'm not sure if I'm going to go those blues. As much as they are gorgeous, they just don't go with the rest of the page. So I might pop those on there. A bit of string would have been good too, but I can't seem to find my string. Anyway, all right, let's stick those down. Have I missed anything? Night, Leslie. Sorry if you can hear my husband. He's playing with the dog. All right, so you can use um, Art by Marlene. Glue is my go-to glue. Um, but this, I had this out, so, you know, let's stick it on there. A bit of black string would have gone well there, but I don't have any black string. All right, so I'm pretty happy with that one. Um, so there's a few options I can do to finish off the this one and uh, for the border. So I can either use my uh, uh, I lie my the art by Marlene one. I lie it on the side. Um, and it seems to just have a dry um, bit at the top that I can pull off most of the time. Otherwise, I keep a pin next to it. Um, just because it's so fine tipped, they do tend to clog, but I find it dries the best. And it's not doesn't clog as much as um, the thing sitting next to it, which is the glossy accents, which I used to use for glue. So... Um, yeah. Uh, so finishing it off. So um, the life of color pens. So I could just do a pen, a gel pen draw around there. I also haven't got my sentiment on there yet. Um, so I will find those. And I will need to find a black one or a white one. Oh, yeah, no black or white. And I don't think I have black and white in here. Oh, no, there's a black. Right. So, again, if you didn't um, see at the beginning when I pulled out all the stuff that I've got literally lying from one end of my craft room to the other for tonight, just so I had things out, um, this sentiments pack is... Is not available anymore but there is a newer one by paper rose um, that is available and it's just their newer design I don't make cards a lot so this little pack which was really inexpensive 
was just fantastic uh, for price point for me um, for what I use them for. So I think I might pop that there. Uh, I'm going to use... I am going to use my, oh yeah, it's 50-50, Christy, uh, Chrissy, whether it, it clogs. It just didn't clog then, um, but it's pretty pretty good when you light on the side. So I'm actually going to stick that on him and there. Well, thanks, Carrie. And I do make them, but I just don't. I don't, I used to find myself confined when I was working in small spaces. So one of the ways I like to use, this is the medium size um, Life of Colour paint pens. I use my paint pens all the time on everything. Um, so yeah, there's different ways to use them, but this, because this is a bit of a grunge, I want to, I don't want to have a straight line. So I'm just going to use this, um, makeup sponge that I've got and I'm just going to push that down and as I go I'm just going to rub. You've got to be quick because they do dry quickly. I had a full plan that I was going to get through, like six cards tonight. They're so quick and easy, and that's not going to happen. I will. I. I won't keep you guys all night. So nothing too special there. Just rubbing it in with a sponge so that it's got a bit of grunge to it. And that's pretty easy. Yeah, uh, I normally use my finger, um, but I'm trying to use my fingers less. So I'm really happy with that. That's 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 one. All right, let's go back to one of these ones. I'll finish off these two, and then I'll quickly do one of the girly, the the brights. I do want to do a bright before I finish. So this one, I had. What am I going to do? I've done some stamping. I've done my collage paper. I want to add now. Um, I'm going to add some cheesecloth to this one. So bear with me while I go through my piles. Oops. I have a little piece of it. Oh, here it is. On the floor. Um, so I did have another idea and I didn't even go there yet, but cheesecloth is a really good texture to put underneath. If you, if you put some cheesecloth on your card backing to start with, you could, with gel medium, you could, um, dry it off and then spray magicals over it and the magicals would like stick to the texture of it. I've been meaning to do it and every time I forget. So I've just put a little nick in the ends of those just to fray them a bit. This one's not quite as grungy look but it's a dirty let's let's go with a dirty a dirty bit of a dirty grunge look. How about that? Not, not steampunk, but you know, that just adds a little something to it. Um, to stick this down, I'll just use my Art by Marlene glue, stick it down there. Oh, this one's running out. And pop that on there. And I think my finger's stuck to it. It is. There we go. All right. That is already starting to dry. And it's not in, I, I don't do things straight. I like everything wonky. I don't, 
I don't want that to be in the middle. Um, all right. So now let's see what we've got here. So these are these beautiful. So, so we've got some butterflies. You could easily add some of the moths to there. Um, we could add the clock heart in there. What else have we got? There's the, and you could layer these up as well. I think I'm going to go with the butterflies. I'm not great with, I'm not great with steampunk stuff. Um, I do need to, next time Nat does a um, something steampunky, I really need to pay attention. What if I pop that in behind there? Oh, look at that. That looks good. You know, you could just lay that up. And I've totally missed. Sorry, I've missed all your comments. I was too too preoccupied. Chrissy, I will definitely put photos up once I finish them. Um, yes, Nat definitely sells cheesecloth and he he what's it called? He Hessem? Hessem? Uh, the the meshy stuff that I had on those other cards. She sells that too. Um, alrighty. I think I will look at look at this. I think I'm gonna do it. All right. No, not that. Ooh. Ooh. Hang on. All right. I think I'm going to go with the clocks. Although, hang on. No, okay. I'm going back to the butterflies. All right. Make a decision, Naomi. Now, if I had a mini stapler, which I don't, and it's on my list, but every time I go to get one, it's sold, they're sold out, um, I would have stapled these on. Um, but let's go with a bit of glue just down the middle. Oh, the, so these, they're not die cuts. They're from, these little sets are from this notepad, Chrissy, um, the collage paper pad. So it had, uh, it had, so there's the butterflies and I've used a bit of my book. And there's the steampunky stuff. So you get four of those there's smaller butterflies if you wanted to do that would be good for a background piece um and that came with those other pieces that i used the little little things and then there's a black and white one as well plus some words and background papers so that was from that kit it's pretty versatile i think there's um quite a bit you can use in that pack so popping that one there, I'm going to do a couple of these butterflies. Oh, are they butterflies or moths? That's they're moths. Okay. All right. So we're, I'm just popping it in the middle, and the reason I'm just popping it, yeah, they're nine ninety five, Chrissy. Like you can't even go wrong. You you'd even let your kids um cut those up for that price, right? Um, the reason I only do the middle of the butterfly slash moth is because I want that. I want the, the wings to stick up. So, so easy um, and effective to to add those. Not that one. I think there's a smaller one here. And, yeah, I, I did prepare for this, so I did sit here and fussy cut them out beforehand. So I'm just going to... No, I'm going to pop that up the top. There we go. Um, I think uh, Chrissy Linda put it up earlier. Um, if you just look up the collage papers, 
I think it might be called Wings or something like that, but I will put up the link to it if um, to the actual pad later um, when I put up the photos to this one. All right, I think I'm happy with that one. Um, I realized I haven't cut that one down, so again, I'm going to get that card, which I've put in a... I've got a lot of things in the safe place tonight. What on earth did I do with it? Don't tell me I'm going to have to cut up another one. No, I'll just size it off with this. So let's have a look. Same there and the same. So I'm just going to trim that off quickly with my guillotine. Oh, whimsy pack. Yes, that's it. Whimsy, wings, same thing. <laughs> and I'm just trimming off that smidge at the bottom with my guillotine. Hold that there. Dump that on the floor. All right, we've nearly finished two. I'm going to whip through the next one and then I'll just quickly add a dead girl to a colourful one. All right, sentiment, sentiment. Seriously, you should see the mess I have here. I can't find anything. All right, let's go with, I think we can get away with a green. I think I'll probably get away with that green. All right. Now, I will, um, there's another pack on there as well. And because you guys are awesome and you've been playing along with me tonight, I'll give you a little sneak peek at a, it's going to be a double layout, um, a double layout and card kit that I'm doing with it. Um, but it is also pretty cool. Um, and it's there on the website as well. All right. Popping this sentiment up on some foam tape just to give it a bit of dimension. Popping that there. All right. I always like to do a border. So this one, I think, not quite as grungy. I'm actually loving this one. This one's probably my favourite so far. But... Um, I always like to draw a border of some sort. So I will probably just use between my, um, fine pen, uh, life of color pen or a ball point pen. Um, I just do a double line. Ooh, that was a bit. And the reason I do a double line, because I can't draw a straight line to save myself, I do a double line to make it look like it's supposed to be messy, because it is. If I just do one line, it'll look like a wonky line. So I always do two lines, and I kind of make it like overlap each other. It just gives it a little bit of a finish, a bit more of a finished look. Oop. Now I've got cheesecloth stuck to me. All right. And another little, little, little mark I like to do. And I do this in my art journal all the time. Just adds a little something. Is I just do a little, little bit of a squiggle. On the, on the line. Just in a few places. And there we go. So there's two. Oh, do you? I don't think I could do that, Kerry. And are you left-handed? I've never thought of which way I did it before. All right. Um, moving on to our third one. So we're coming back to our magicals. 
and this one is looking fantastic and I'm going to trim this one off first before I play again. Gee, I've been good in, in the sizes that I've cut because I'm literally cutting the same off all of them. So I'm going to cut this end off. Oops, got this backwards, but that's okay. Yeah, now I'm going to cut this end off. Oh, yeah, heart's a cool one. I did that actually on the, the Valentine's Day one I did. Really love hearts. Alrighty. So let's go with this one. What am I going to do? I did want to add a little bit more um, stamping to this one. And um, I want to use this really fine. And I'm actually going to use ink for the first time tonight, I think. Um, this is the grunge, my, one of my faves, grunge tones. And I'm just using this really fine dot one. And I'm just going to add a few more marks. Yes. Just... around the place like seriously I just love this stamp my husband would be laughing at me if he could hear me right now he laughs at how excited I get about my craft things <laughs> alrighty so there's that now I think we need to layer up some more. So what have we got? We've got, have I got something in this pack that I want to add? Let's have a look. Nah, that's a bit girly there. I don't want the flower in it. Thinking I will add this part of this page is so um like there's so much to it. Um like it's got writing, it's got angels, it's got flowers, it's got flourishes. Um I'm going to I'm actually gonna keep the straight edge. I don't mind it. Um, so that again, that piece there is just from that same booklet, same front page of that booklet. Um, all right, I'm going to stick that down with my glue stick. Um, this one I think is going to be pretty simple. I think we'll just pop on those steampunk things if, if I can get them to work. And by get them to work, I mean if I can make them. Although, hang on. No, I don't want a butterfly. Although that goes really well with that. No, put the butterfly away, Naomi. You do enough butterflies. All right. Um, let's see. Where's this steampunk stuff? Here we go. Um, so I am thinking of sticking that one up. And then I might pop some underneath. So let's commit to it. Let's stick this down. I've still got a few of you watching, which is um, great. Thank you for sticking around with me. And I hope you are playing along. And I would love you to share your creations or what you've been doing in the Nellie Mae Creative Community. Um, I love seeing what other people do. I love seeing people have a go at things that I have a go at um, because I do that for other people, get ideas. Um, you know, I've got a couple of cogs and a couple of clocks here. So I think I'm sticking with the circles. Hang 
on. I need to make sure that clock's up the right way because that's, I can't do that. All right, and I might stick that on top of that. All righty. Oh, I think I did pretty good with that. Do you reckon that color matches? Give me a thumbs up. It is a deep green. I think I've grunged it up enough. Oh, I do have some clogs. Oh, I might add some of those too. Beautiful. All righty. Uh, let me grab some. Actually, I'll just use my Art by Marlene glue. All right. And um, I, I'm sure plenty of you have noticed, but somehow... I managed to plan my live tonight with Marlene's release <laughs> night. Um, and I always watch hers, but she normally does it at night time, uh, at very, very late at night time. So she's changed it. Anyway, I'm pretty excited to see the um, 10, 11, 12, so it's pretty good that way. Pretty excited to see what Marlene has got out for her new range, um, which is exciting. All right, so I'm going to foam tape this cog that was, again, fussy cut from that, that pack, that collage pack. Stick that up, giving it a bit of dimension there. So I've raised these ones, I've raised that one, that one's straight glued down, that one's straight glued down, and now I'm going to add my chipboard clogs, cogs, clogs. What am I talking about? I'm going to pop that one in under there. I don't know about you guys, but I have a bucket load of chipboard stuff. And then I have another cupboard of chipboard, um, you know, I'm sure we all went through the chipboards phase and it's sometimes really good to use them for things, use them up. Going to add that one on top there. I even think I have a the virus um, chipboard somewhere. I think that was a old Kazaz thing, a virus. It was like a stay home virus chipboard thing. Obviously, everyone was was home crafting. I certainly did extra crafting in lockdowns as much as I could. Anyway with a new baby. Alrighty, so again, just looking for a sentiment, and I think I can get away with the green again. So, um, I did have, I find teen boys cards are hard to do and being I'm about to have a, a teenager in the house in two weeks um, I um, I invested in some of the sorry I'm trying to do two things at once talk and look for things um, the creative image they have a teen boy and a teen girl kind of image with a skateboarder and um, this guy, so I've got one here that I can add to easily to one of my magicals. Um, where is he? This guy here. So he's got holding a mobile phone, which is literally perfect for my 13 year old. All right, that one I think is done. I'm going to add in a border again. I'm going to use my, what am I going to use? Life of Colour Black Thin pen this time. Oh, 
Oh, I've been going for a bit. Now, I did a boo-boo the other day with my pen and I didn't wait till it was dry. So this is the one I think I've been having troubles with. But anyway. I did three on that one. So learn a lesson from me. Don't use your paint pens on a wet paint because although this has now come back alive, it can stuff them. If you don't have stencils or stamps that you want to add marks to, a good old paint pen will do the trick as well. So, um, yeah, that's the third one. Three. All right. And let's quickly whip two more out. I'm going to go with that blue, which is from one of the shakers to make this boy card. Oh, actually, no, that blue. They're gorgeous colours. Um, and where is that? This one. Let's put a dead person in front of that. All right. I'll just trim it off quickly first so we don't get too far ahead of ourselves. All right, so this one is a bit bigger, so I'm going to have to trim a bit off one of the sides. And I might trim it off the darker side. So I do quite like, oh, it's the right length, just not the right, right width, not the right length. All right, so trim that. There's one. And... That one just needs a smidgen. Smidgen is a technical term in crafting. I'm sure you all know what I mean by a smidgen. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah Chrissy, I loved it too. One of the um, the design team for, vis uh, what's it called? Vis visible, visible, that. Visible image um, did something similar in a rainbow on this. And if you want to order this stencil, I think it might be called the Supernova stencil. I'm not 100% sure. But, um, and I've realised I've got a line down there, but that's all right. I'm going to cover that. Um, Natalie is sold out, but I'm sure she can order it in for you. All right, let's go with a dead person. So I really like this little old lady here. Let's see if we can bring the dead lady to life. No, I do want her. I like the old lady. Where is she? She was cute. A cute dead old lady. And that one, I like her too, actually. Um, yeah, I think it was this one. No, she's not old. What am I doing? Oh, how cute is this little girl? No. How does he come up with this? Honestly. Um, all right. I, I thought I liked... There's so many characters here. No, not her. This guy reminds me of a, um, out of Memphis Belle. That old, old movie. Right. Oh, here she is. It's her. Yeah, I like her. All right. Sorry, young girl. Young dead girl, you're going. All righty. So I don't just want to dump her on the page, but I'm going to put her to the side there. I mean, you don't really need to do a lot here. Um, but I think I wonder if I could add some cheesecloth with how that would look. Let's just, let's just have a little play and see 
what it will look like because the cheesecloth won't take away too much. Um, yeah, we could fry that up. Yep, let's do that. Give it a bit of texture. I'll lift her up and then I think that should do it. I like this has got so much going on in the background. You you don't even need to to do much. All right. All right, let's see. Um, just fraying that off. All right, we'll quickly stick that down with a bit of glue. I can't find where I put my upper marlin glue. So I'll just stick it with this. Hopefully that sticks. I'm sure it will. Yes. That's pretty good, that glue stick, purple. Alrighty, we will stick her, yeah, that's good. I'll stick her up a bit with some foam tape. Now, I always just put a piece up the middle of her first because literally every time I put foam tape on then I need to trim something off. I'll put it on the wrong side. So this side, just a little, just a smidgen. I'm sorry, I keep, my comments keep going away. Oh, that's good to know, Susan, about Marlene's release. I'll have to go back and watch it. Oh, yes, Nat does have a stencil a bit like that. Yes, Kathy, I um I did learn the hard way, didn't I? Oops, yeah, I've stuck that down there. All right, I just want her a little bit there. I've got that frayed. You can also, um, a good thing to do with your cheesecloth is add magicals to it. Um, you can create, you can color your cheesecloth. Like that's another easy one to do. I normally, I've done it plenty of times, um, but I normally have to use it white because I add so much color to everything else. Um, I really don't think she needs a lot. Um, and now I've got these beautiful pink, when I can find them, sentiments because I've got lots of colours here. Where have we got? Where's my birthday ones? Here we go. I think I can put something slightly bigger on there. Or a thank you. I can put it as a thank you. we go all right so trimming that off very quickly tonight my toddler went to sleep first thing which was very unlike the night before because he was still coming out an hour later so obviously daycare today wore him out all right because i've got her raised i'm just going to add glue to this thank you Sentiment, mm, pop it up there. There we go. 
pretty simple and easy when you've got such a beautiful background and an effective background to do that. I will also add a black border. And that was mainly because my stencil ran out here. And because I've got a black border, and the only other thing that's black on the page is the, well, it's not actually black, it's gray in her color. I'm going to add a teeny weeny bit of, oh man, I'm gonna be so sad if that dies. I'm gonna add a teeny weeny bit of, um, black marks around here with that teeny tiny grunge stamp just because that black quite stands out because I haven't got black on there already your 17 year old that keeps you awake <laughs> Kathy Yes, my um, my thirteen year I can't. Oh, what's going on with these comments? My thirteen year old's a bit of a night owl. Um, so sometimes on the weekends I go to bed before him, but not during the week. All right. So I'm just this. God, I just love this stamp. If you don't have this stamp, it, it doesn't matter what you do scrapbooking, art journaling, card making, anything, this is one of my favourite stamps. Um, I'm just going to add a bit there and up here. It's not taking away from it, but it's just bringing that black in to the, to the page. And I might even just do a smidgen down here. To hide that starkness. All right, baby, baby wipe again. I think I'm up to number six. Baby wipe tonight. Alrighty. Yeah, you need it, Chrissy. Seriously. <laughs> Actually, I have to say that um, Visible Image are bringing out some things that just are right up my alley. All right, so there's another one. I'm going to finish off with one more quick one, only because I just want to show you one with this, this boy. And, I mean, look at that background, and you could just literally add that boy. So I'm not going to add much to it. I'm going to add a teeny bit of stamping, and I'm going to use... This is another chain reaction. This is a chain reaction one. Yeah. I have a wish list, Chrissy, um, of the visible image. Um, and I will show you. Oh, I have to show you this. Let me show you. I've done. Linda has seen this. This is visible image stuff and I was going to make it into a kit or something but I haven't quite worked it out but these are two tags I've done with visible image um and I love them magicals and vis visible image and I'm going to put them on my wall but I haven't shown anyone them yet because I'm not sure what to do with them so I might just share them or but visible image, the Owls in Wonderland packs, I, I need it all. The Mad Hatter. Um, yeah. Yep. All right. Now, I'm going to pop this grungy numbers on, and I am going to do it grungy. I haven't used this one yet. It's one of my newies. Um, I did one big, one big order the other week, and then I've had to put the halt on because... The 13 year old needed a bike and it was his first big bike. So a thousand dollars later, <laughs> um, but he has literally ridden. I think we need to nearly take it in for its one month service. All right. 
I'm just going to add a bit of off stamping here. Oh, yeah. And sorry, I have to do it on the on on the side because I when it comes to numbers, um, I, I'm not straight with other things, but I just need the numbers and the and words to be straight mostly. I'm not going to cry if it's not though. All right, that is a cool stamp as well. Yep, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Alrighty. So I'm nearly done wrapping up. All right. I'm done with the stamping. Just a bit in the corners. I the the marks around here with those magicals, I don't want to cover them because that's the magical part of it you know um all right so i think i'll just this is actually natalie's where is it i need to get my natalie stuff out um her crucifixes i think it is the other good one for adding um onto these pages is uh the art by marlene die cuts they're great to add little little characters onto them i know uh natalie's sold out at the moment but um marlene has just done a release so no doubt she's got new die cuts of some sort she always has them um i've got the xxl book of never ending die cuts so i've always got something to add oh no i'm gonna have to order some more of the nat crucifixes one that's my favorite collage paper it would have gone perfect anyway we'll move on all right i will just stick him on there i'm gonna add um foam tape as i said it's so simple and easy when it's um, those beautiful backgrounds. Oh, yes, I have the Art by Marlene sticky quotes too. Chrissy, I do have to clean as I go and only because, um, and I did have a clean up before I started tonight because I also work from home some days a week in the same space. So I have pushed my spare monitor to the back of the desk and I need to make literally where I'm crafting right now is where my laptop has to go. So I don't have much of a choice but to clean up after me um, to a degree. You should, but literally you should see the stack of mess I have. Now I'm going to pop him up a bit higher and then I'm going to get him to, because he's floating there, I don't want him to float. I'm going to cut out this happy birthday sign from here. Um, and he can stand on that. So I hope you have got some ideas or inspiration to have a play make some cards, make some um, tags, make some whatever you want to do with some of these ideas um, and, and you know, get some of your old stuff out that you can mix with your new stuff. Um, you know, it's so easy to get Ooh, look at all the pretty things and buy it all and then sometimes we all do it it sits there and doesn't get used because you moved on to the next pretty thing um so just popping him on there with some foam tape all righty that's pretty cool i'm gonna have to use that for my son's birthday present um and again 
I'm just going to add a, a hand-drawn border, I think. Um, but I think I'm going to go a thinner pen this time. I'm just going to use a ballpoint pen. Thanks, Linda. Thanks for for linking for me. Um, it de definitely makes a difference. Unfortunately, I couldn't return the favour last week because my laptop has died, and I'm on and I was only on my phone. And it kicks you out of Facebook when you go into the website. So, um, yeah, I don't think I'll be getting a new laptop anytime soon. Um, yeah, so, I mean, a simple border like that just really does add to it. There we go. All right, so let's have a look at what we've got um, now that it's dry. So we have, and I could have got through a heap more, but, you know, we can't be here all night. I will make some more and I'll pop some up. So we've got this one using the visible image um, teen, I think it is. Um, if you need some sentiments with a range, have a look at Paper Rose. It's not exactly this, but I'm sure they're very similar. The, the pack I've got doesn't just have Happy Birthday. It's got other sentiments as well if it's just a random card. Um, and then we've got the Grunge a Happy Birthday card with the fun funky fossil collage paper in the background as well as that whimsy collage pack as well um, and some stenciling and stamping there. Uh, we've got this guy. I quite like this one. Um, I'm not sure which one's my favourite, but um, definitely that brick wall stamp. Um, nice grungy tags and our dead person. Um, brightening up dead person, adding her to there with a bit of grungy stamping. Um, loving that one too. And this one has to be my favourite. I think I might need to do some more on craft. I think that's that's what the thing is there. Um, thanks, Carrie ann Thanks for watching as always. Um, and again, this is that background of that whimsy whimsy collage paper pad um, on the website. I will take some photos in the morning um, because I don't get great. I get too much glare when I take photos at night. Um, and I will pop it up tomorrow with some links. Um, and thank you for watching. Thanks, Chrissy. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, everybody. Um, and as mentioned before www.nallymay.com.au for all your crafty goodiness thanks guys thanks kath thanks susan thanks alana thank you good night all